Here we're going to be looking at the dollar value LIFO price index and how a company would compute its own specific internal price index used for calculating a LIFO inventory layers at base year dollars. And we're here we're going to be using the double extended inventory method here to determine this price index. So what are we talking about here for this price index here? What we would be looking at here is our end in ending inventory here at the current cost divided here by the ending inventory inventory value here at the base year cost. So we take the current cost of our ending inventory, divide it by the base year cost of our ending inventory, and we come up with a price index here. This is the uh, increase in prices here for the year based on these uh, current cost ending inventories and then the inventory at its base ending inventory at its base year cost. So let's start out here first looking at calculating the ending inventory based on the base, base year prices here. And again we're using the double extended inventory method here. So what do we have to deal with here? We have ending inventory on 1231X1 and that's given to us here. We have item A, we have 3,000 units here in our ending inventory and for item B we have 6,000 units here in our ending inventory. So now uh, to calculate our base year inventory or base year cost here for this ending inventory and again we're looking at 1231x1 and we have to deal with these uh, ending quantities here we have for item A here and item B here in our ending inventory and we have to come up with the in this case we're going to be using the base year cost so where do we get these things here? Well it would be given to us or uh, going up here we have calculated previously calculated them here in this we're looking at our base year inventory here at 11x1 and for item A here we have a base year cost of $12 per unit and for item B we have a base cost here of $40 per unit. So let's go down and calculate our base year cost here. So our ending inventory we have uh, 3,000 units here of A at $12 here at the base year cost. That total cost here would be for $36,000 here for item A. And then for item B here, we have a quantity of $6,000 at that $40 per unit base year cost. Uh, that gives us $240,000. So adding those two amounts together here to $36,000 plus the $240,000, we're going to come up with a base year cost here of $276,000. Okay, now next here, we're going to calculate our ending inventory based on the most recent prices here. And this is uh, for that for our current cost here. And again, we're using this double extended inventory method. So what do we have to deal with here? Well, we still have this ending inventory here, A3000 and B6000. But we're going to calculate the current price or of this ending inventory, what it's worth currently. And that's going to be based on the most recent actual purchases here for the inventory. So for our item A here, we had a purchase here on 12.1x1, a quantity we purchased for $4,000, and the current price here is $14 per unit. And then for B, we had two items here purchased, one on 12.15, again on X1 here, uh, uh, purchased a quantity of $5,000 at $50 here per item here, per unit price here. And then another purchase here of uh, item B here on 1216X1 here of 1,000 units at $44 per unit here. So those these here represent our most recent prices or our current price that we would use for calculating our uh, ending inventory here at the current year cost. So what do we have to, we've got item A here that we have to deal with. We got 3,000 units in ending inventory that came from up over here here. And then we would have uh, priced those here at the most current price here of $14 per unit here for item A. So 3,000 here times $14 each gives us a total cost here of $42,000. Now for item B. Well, we have to deal with the 6,000 units here in ending inventory. And if we go up here and we look at our most recent prices here, uh, we had purchased 5,000 here at $50 per unit and then 6,000 or 1,000 here at $40, $44 per unit. So actually these purchases here of 5,000 uh, units here plus the 1,000 units uh, uh, totals here 6,000 units. So this is, we'd have to use these price, most recent prices here to price our inventory for item B here. So uh, 
for the 6,000 units, 5,000 are going to come here from this $50, a recent price here, $50 that we paid here. 5,000 times the 50 here equals $250,000 for the total unit cost. And then the remaining 1,000 would come from the uh, uh, pr uh, purchase here we made on 1216 for $40 to $4 per unit here, the most recent price here. So here we got 1,000 uh, at $44 each that gives us forty-four thousand dollars here in our to in our cost for item B here for that one thousand units. So our total cost here for the current year cost would be uh, the forty-two thousand here for item A, and then the two hundred and fifty thousand plus the forty-four thousand here for item B. So our total current year cost here is thirty three hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars. Okay, now simple enough here to go and calculate our price index for. Our, the year here. So we have our ending inventory at its current cost, $336,000. That came off of our current year costs here. This is what it, currently what our inventory is worth here based on the recent uh, purchases that we have here. And then our ending inventory at our base year cost, that was for $276,000. Now remember, uh, that's what we calculated up here based on our base year cost. So the division of those two here, two, 336000 divided by 276000 gives us a price index here of 122%. So that's what we have for our internal, uh, internally generated uh, price index here, which, we, which we'd be using for this dollar uh, for uh, pricing that we would use for pricing our inventory layer. So any inventory layer that we have for the year here of year X1, we would use this price index ratio here, or 122%. So just remember here, when you're using this uh, uh, when you're doing this uh, double extended method here, uh, your base brace year is easy enough to calculate here because that's based off the base prices. But when you're using the uh, determining your current year cost here, you have to look back and see what your most recent prices were for the particular inventory item here that you're pricing in the ending inventory. So you've got to most, use the most recent prices here for your current year cost. And then just remember, you start with your ending inventory amounts, and then you have to calculate both your base year cost based off those ending inventory amounts here, and then a same for the current year cost. They're based off those ending inventory amounts based on the most recent prices in this case. So that takes care of calculating our price index here uh, using this double extension method here for calculating our inventory costs.